Charles Butters is the 17th episode of the third series, based on the story of the same name from the Railway series book, Mainline Engines. This was the first episode of the third series to not have an early narration before its TV release, since the first 16 episodes we covered had early narrations on the VHS tapes before their official release on TV with redone narrations by Michelangelo's. And this is the first to only have one version of narration for the series. Let's buzz on right over with the story. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor is enjoying his work in the Vicarage Orchard. It is a beautiful day with birds singing and apples ripening. James arrives and compliments how Trevor feels as well as his paint. After Trevor admits that he is bright and cheerful, James asks about a strange noise. Trevor explains that it is the bees that are making honey and that he needs to take the beehives to the station as the vicar is going to give some of her honey to his friends. When Boko arrives, he warns the two of them to not make the beings angry or they will sting. However, James ignores him and both engines leave to set off for the next station. Bill and Ben are busy arranging trucks but they leave when they see Boko, who tells Duck about the time he first met the twins and how Edward soon put a stop to their games. Duck agrees that Edward is the only one who could keep Bill and Ben in order and then nicknames them the Bees. And Boko chuckles, finding it a good nickname as a result of their behaviour. James bustles in after having overheard a part of the conversation. He butts in asking Duck if he is ever afraid of bees and boasts that he would make the bees buzz off by blowing smoke at them, much to Duck's amusement. The next morning, James is preparing to pull the express. As the passengers prepare to board the train, the porter is in a hurry and accidentally knocks a beehive off the trolley, causing it to fall and break open. Like magic, everyone quickly takes cover outside the station and a swarm of bees buzz around James' crew in hopes that they will repair their hive. However, they are more worried that the bees will sting them and so the bees cling onto James' nice and warm boiler instead. One of them burns his foot on a hot spot of James' boiler and in retaliation stings the red engine right on the end of his nose, leaving it red and swollen. This proves to be the final straw for James and his crew, so they run off without waiting for the guard's whistle and leave the express behind. They try different methods to get the bees off, such as spinning on the turntable, washing them off and going through a tunnel to smoke them out. But all methods are unsuccessful no matter what. Finally, James's driver says the only thing to do is to go back to the orchard, which allows the bees to fly off when they see a beehive at Wellsworth Vicarage. Once back at the sheds, the vicar comes by to see James and gives his crew some jars of honey in gratitude for saving the bees. He also no jokingly notes that, even though it is not Christmas yet, it would be a great idea to nickname him James the Red-Nosed Engine, much to James and his crew's amusement. Instead, the crew prefers to call him the Bee's Knees, as a sign of just how really useful he is. This marks the first time the TV series had used hand-drawn animation in the TV series, as the bee that burns itself and stings James's nose is a cell animation cartoon. And while the bee looks very cartoonish, despite it being taking place in a real world environment, I have to admit it does look really cool. It's just awesome to see a bee drawn this way in the TV series. And while some could make the argument that it looks weird seeing the 2D animated bee in a live action thing since it just looks like a cartoon in the real world with no shadows like in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you have to remember that this was a TV show and they wouldn't have had the budget to make the bee look as realistic as it would have been in Frogger Rabbit. So for the time this was really groundbreaking for the TV series. Since the original story takes place in between the disease or Ron Road and was never adapted in the second series, they had to compromise and make some changes to the adaptation, with the beginning and ending of the episode. So the opening shot of James, Trevor and Boko at the vicarage was a nice way to introduce us to the bees and to build up the story. And in the original ending, James gets teased by the other engines, but in the new version it's the vicar that gives James his nickname. And the vicar's line, It's a pity it's not Christmas, then we could call you James the Red-Nosed Engine. It's a reference to the old song Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is actually really fitting to talk about when you consider that this is Christmas time. And like with the original story, this episode starts off with James' prejudice with diesels, since he badmouths Boko in the episode. And when that story was originally written, James' motivation to have a prejudice against diesels was understandable, since diesels were new at the time the original story was written and they posed a threat to steam engines on the railways. And this is the second time we get to see James spin around really really fast on a turntable, although in the remastered version he spins around a lot slower for some reason. And I don't get why they did that. It's another simple thing that they could have just avoided by getting the original footage. 
And the most noticeable and funny goof in the episode is that when the passengers are running out of the station after the beehive breaks open, one of the passengers is fallen over and lying down face first on the station floor. But I assume David Mitten or someone else on set decided that this was really funny and just decided to keep it in by having the passenger fall over and then get back up and continue running away. It's a goof that they just decided to keep in and then just run all the way with it by having him get back up. That's a nice little touch that the TV series had for this episode. And it's a scene that I look forward to re-watching every time I re-watch this particular episode. And it goes without saying that James looks hilarious with that big red nose after he gets stuck. It's just such an iconic and hilarious moment in the TV series. And the episode is so iconic that various merchandise based on the episode has been made. Take and Play, Trackmaster, Wooden Railway, Wind Up Toys, even Thomas Land of Japan has a reference to it in the maze. And the Midhance Railway did a reference to the episode as well with their James engine in the 1997 Day Out with Thomas event. It's one of those episodes that's left a huge impact with the Thomas community. All in all, Buzz Buzz is a fun, entertaining, funny episode for the TV series. It's the first time we get to see 2D animation in the series, and as I said, James looking like a circus clown gets me laughing every time I rewatch it. It's a fun episode that's definitely worth checking out if you love James the Ren Engine and bees in general. It's one that's not to be missed.